Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in Eastern Washington where we will watch the installation of H-frame transmission poles for a 115 kV transmission line. You can see the H-frame poles on the horizon here. Our participating utility is the Bonneville Power Administration and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. And as we get to the site itself, uh, there's a couple of things to mention. First, this is a new transmission line going in on an existing transmission corridor. And those two poles that you see in the shot right now, one is already chopped down, the other is still standing to hold up the fiber optic line as they do the replacement of these H-frame poles. And you see one of the first tasks is measuring and marking the ground for the holes that are going to be dug. Here he is marking with orange spray paint a four foot diameter hole that will be drilled to set these new H-frame poles in place. Yeah, that's it's right there. And so here is the auger on the end of a load drill which will be used to drill these holes. That's the point of view from the operator of the load drill. Each hole needs to be dug to a depth of about 10 to 11 feet. Now as the bit comes out of the hole, notice a crew member is spraying water into the hole. That's both to keep the dust down and to try and keep the hole walls in place so it doesn't cave in on itself and fill in. Notice also the safety harness that this crew member is wearing as he's spraying down into the hole. When they get near the hole, they have to wear that safety harness and here measuring the depth of the hole. And as we continue to drill this hole, notice the boards that say hole on them to cover the hole when it's done. And now taking out some barrier fencing to stake and put around the holes after they are dug. And now you can see that barrier fencing in place as the crew member measures this hole for depth. That's the high spot in the middle. So next it's time to mark out, measure, and mark the second hole to be dug. Remember this is an H-frame, so it's going to need two poles for the cross member. Marking a four-foot diameter circle, and there's the drill. You see the orange markings on the ground again. Same load drill being used to drill the second hole even using a level here to make sure the drill bit is level. You need to have very precise measurements to make sure the lines all line up once the poles are in. Gives them the good to go. And now we are off and running. The same drill on this hole where it just goes in. You see as you see the boards covering the original or first hole and you also see the spraying of water as this drilling is taking place for the same reasons as we saw before. Another thing to note, that safety harness is on again. And now we can see what they do with what are called the spoils of the hole, the dirt that's taken out. They uh, spin this drill bit and leave it on the side here. It's used to fill back in once they install the pole. So once that second hole is completely dug, we can put up the rest of the barrier fencing. And we now have a site ready for pole setting. Two poles that will form the two sides of the H-frame poles you see in the distance here. But we have some bonus footage for you. Here we are a few poles down the line from where the drilling is taking place and we're looking at a pre-drilled hole that is now going to be loaded or blasted to loosen up the soil. Makes for faster, more efficient drilling going forward. It's being loaded with a combination of ammonium nitrate and some stemming and he is placing a power ditch in it which is a percentage of dynamite charge and now going to put some blast blankets over the top of this hole and we're going to stand back get away from the site and let the camera zoom in and watch this hole being blasted. Fire in the hole! 
And now as the blast blankets are removed, we can approach the newly blasted hole and see that there's still dirt on top, but it just makes the drilling about five times easier or faster to get down into that rocky soil. And with that, you have now seen our TND How video on hole drilling for a new transmission line. You see in the distant some H-frame transmission poles as we will be building along this same right-of-way. Our participating utility was the Bonneville Power Administration. We showed the work of contractor Wilson Construction. This video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. I am Jim Ducart with TND Howe Videos. Thank you as always for watching.